Nigeria's top two candidate, uh, presidential candidates are in the midst of their final week of campaigning before Saturday's election. Viewers Peter Clotty joins me live now by phone with the latest news of the campaign. Hi, Peter. Hello, Vincent. How so, are you? I'm fine. So they're, they're doing this, uh, uh, top candidates are doing their really final, final campaigns. What, what is it they're telling people? What are some of the latest campaign rallies have you attended? Well, I, I was briefly as a uh, main opposition party, the People's Democratic Party or the PDP campaign here in Lagos. Um, it went smoothly, but they were promising change. They said the president and his ruling all progressive Congress party have failed to keep the promises they made to them. And that is why Nigerians should reject them and elect uh, Atiku Abubakar and his running mate, Peter Obi, to uh, run the affairs of the country. They said the ruling APC has run out of ideas. They are incapable of jump-starting the economy and protecting them because they accuse the ruling party of claiming that they have resolved the problem of Boko Haram and, for that matter, terrorism. Mm -hmm. However, the ruling party said, through the information minister, Lai Mohammed, who told VOA that before they came to power, Boko Haram controlled territories. And now they don't control territories anymore. Mm -hmm. They are not bombing the capital, Abuja, anymore. And that Nigerians can sleep in peace with their two eyes closed, according now, to Alaji Lai Mohammed. We did witness a few clashes in uh, parts of Nigeria earlier on. Uh, what, to what extent uh, has the country... Uh, kind of is the country concerned about the likelihood of uh, violence in any part of the country uh, by Saturday? You know, I just concluded an interview with the police commissioner here in Lagos, and he was very uh, insistent on the fact that security has has been boasted here in Lagos and other parts of the country, and that they are ensuring that those who foment trouble, those who will even migrate to come here in the city and environs to cause trouble will be dealt with accordingly. He said special security uh, arrangements have been implemented to ensure that prospective voters go to the polls in peace, and then this election is secure and that there will be no post-election violence in spite of a few reported isolated incidents of clashes here and there. But he assured me and the population in Lagos that the police are up to the task and they would ensure the elections are free and peaceful. Now we know that uh, both sides uh, have claimed they want to tackle some of the issues that are uh, uh, of concern to the Nigerians, but how are they distinguishing themselves from each other? What what stands out in both sides? You know, the interesting thing is that a lot of the people I interacted with said these people are the same. The only distinguishable thing is that they say that President Mohammed Buhari, the incumbent president, is incorruptible. And that despite accusations that members around him uh, have been accused left, right, and center of corruption, but they, uh, there has yet to be any evidence against them. On the okay. other hand, former Vice President Atiku Abubakar said he has been in government before and that Nigeria saw its economic power during their reign when he was the Vice President of uh, for. Uh, uh, Mr. Obasanjo, uh, okay. the president, at the time. Okay, Peter, thank you very much.